Well, it was a great win for us. It was great to get our offense going. I think that was the biggest thing that I wanted to see tonight was, you know, could we put together better at bats? Could we hit with runners in scoring position? And I thought we, uh, we checked a lot of boxes offensively tonight. Uh, a lot of guys in the lineup uh, did big things. Seth Beer was Seth Beer tonight. He hit a big grand slam. Chris Williams hit a home run. Logan did what the leadoff man needs to do, which is find a way to get on base. I think he walked three times. I'm not sure, maybe four. Uh, so uh, Sam Weatherly, you know, Weatherly had a nice start for us on the mound. We let him in uh, as the DH, and he had some good at bats. Uh, so, uh, you know, overall, and Travis Moore, you know, I got to mention Travis Moore. He was the key to the game. We you know we. We did a poor job of, of catching and throwing the baseball there. Uh, I believe it was in the sixth inning. Uh, gave a couple run, couple runs away. Uh, you know, we didn't catch a pop up. Then we have a, a you know a, a pass ball and a ground ball that we got to make a play and we misplay a ball in the outfield. And it just started to snowball a little bit on us. We needed somebody to come into the game, you know, to stop the bleeding. Mark gets some bases loaded, uh, no out, strike out in a four six three, and I think that was the key. Uh, for us in the ball game. After that, we were pretty dang good. Uh, so uh, Schnell was good. Riley was good. Good to get Mitchell out there. He threw well. So offensively, we did a good job. I thought we pitched very well. Uh, defensively, we need to clean it up. You know, in a, in a couple areas, and in the game, uh, you know, could have been maybe 10-2, 10-3. Who knows? But uh, it was good to get a win. Uh, good, good to be back home this weekend and uh, get some good positive energy going into the weekend. Coach Seth just had one hit at Louisville and you're down to the 232 average, but always just a matter of time with him, wasn't it? Well, you know, for me, I, I'm not real concerned with the batting average part. You know, we don't, we really don't focus a lot on the batting average. We focus more on what are we doing to try to create runs. And when Seth stays in the strike zone and and he's himself and he's he's on time to to good pitches. Uh, he swings the bat like he did tonight. You know, he blistered that ball in the first. It was kind of an un unfortunate play. Uh, Green really didn't know if he caught the ball or not. He got hung up. Seth's running hard out of the box and passed him. Uh, but, you know, and he hits the big grand slam. He had a walk or two in there. So, you know, he's locked in tonight. Swung the bat very, very well, and we need that out of Seth. You guys got back late, I guess, Monday morning. Quick turnaround. Yep. Had to be pleased with your effort tonight. Yeah, I was very pleased with the effort. I thought, uh, you know, our guys were locked in. You could tell from the uh, first time through the order, you know, tells you a lot, I think, offensively. And, you know, I could see with Logan, you know, there in the lead in the lead off in that first at bat, you know, to get on base via the walk and Greeny, you know, ambush the fastball in his first and second. And even though we, you know, we had some tough luck there in the first with a crazy base running play, I felt like those guys kind of set the tempo there uh, with the first three at bats of the game. And then, as you could tell after that, you know, we were off and running. So, uh, very pleased with how, you know, we uh, we our approach is at the plate and how we swung the bat. Coach Green has started the last three games, had a good series there at Louisville tonight, um, had had the tremendous web gem. You mentioned the uh, the 6-4 or 4-6-3 double play uh, to get out of that jam. Um, it has to be nice to see him making the most of his opportunity. Well, I'm really happy for Jordan, you know, really happy for Jordan. You know, he plays good defense at second base. He gives you a spark offensively finds a way to get on base. Uh, so, uh, you know, he's done well for us here uh, since he's been back in the lineup. And, you know, uh, you know, once we can get Bird healthy, uh, you know, hopefully Bird will be ready to go this weekend. And then, you know, I got a good problem on my hands. I got to start trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to get all those guys in the lineup and what's the best lineup for that day to help us win a ball game. But having Jordan play well for us definitely gives us some options and some flexibility lineup wise to do some things that, you know, hopefully we can create some more offense. Weatherly had started before, but um, you didn't DH him. Um, you decided to go with him tonight. He helped yeah. himself out with that two out ribby. What he was did. behind that decision? Well, I wanted to get another left-handed hitter in there, you know, with the right-handed starter in Alley, and felt like Sam's been very close. I thought even though he, you know, he made an out on a ground ball out against Coastal in a pinch hit at bat, I thought his swings looked good. He's getting stronger. He's starting to figure some things out, and we felt like we needed to try to give him a crack at it. And, you know, and, and I thought he had a good night. You know, he, he put some good swings on the ball. He hit a ball hard to center field deep with two strikes. You know, he's got to be able to get the butt down in the right spot. He bunted the ball back to the pitcher, but he's a young kid. Uh, but he threw the ball well. He's a very good athlete, and uh, he definitely warranted 
uh, you know, again, trying to find a way to get him in the lineup somehow, some way, because he's a very good athlete. He brings another dimension, you know, that we don't necessarily have throughout our lineup, which is uh, some athleticism. You got a perfectly alternating lineup with left, right, left tonight. Do you ever do, you do that deliberately that, at all? We did that deliberately tonight, yes. I mean, we would love to do it. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you, you got to look at, you know, who gives you the best opportunity in RBI spots and those kind of things. But we actually we, we did stagger the lineup for that purpose. Um, and, it, it you know, it makes it tough on a, on a pitching staff. Uh, so, uh, you know, it was the right call tonight.